all right you are welcome again let's take a look at this question we are to form a differential equation corresponding to this function y is equal to e exponential x plus b cos x okay you know we have been talking about formation of ordinary <laughs> differential equation now let's take a look at this and play with it okay now you know we have y is equal to a exponential x plus b cos x let's call this equation one the first thing we are going to do is to differentiate this function with respect to x okay so when we differentiate this function we are going to have dy dx equal to when we differentiate a exponential x it still remains the same it's going to give you a exponential x and when we differentiate b cos x it's going to give you minus b sine x so after differentiating we have dy dx equal to a exponential x minus b sine x let's call this equation 2 as we call this equation 2 we go further and differentiate this again when we differentiate this again we're going to have d squared y all over dx squared equal to when we differentiate a exponential x still remain the same a exponential x and when we differentiate minus b sine x it's going to give us minus b cos x hello we call this equation three okay good now we have differentiated this for the second time okay let's go further for the third time so when we differentiate for the third time we're going to have d cube y all over ds cube d cube y all over dx cube then in the right hand side we have a exponential x now when we differentiate minus b cos x is going to give us plus b sine x we have differentiated this for three times so this last one we call it equation four now look closely you will have equation one equation two equation three and equation four okay now let's take a look at equation one and equation three equation one and equation three equation one says y is equal to e exponential x plus b cos x that is equation one and then equation three said d squared y all over d s squared equal to a exponential x minus b cos x these are similar okay so what we're going to do is this we're going to say equation three plus equation one we're going to add equation one and equation three together let's add it together and see what we're going to have let me show you the method we're going to use in adding this is two equations so we're going to add the left hand side plus the left hand side is equal to the right hand side plus the right hand side this is the method we're going to use in addition of this equation okay now let me show you exactly what i'm talking about we say we're going to add equation three and equation one together so equation three the left hand side is having the squared y all over the x squared now we add it to the left hand side of equation one which is y you get it right they will say equal to the right hand side of equation three we have a exponential x minus b cos x then we'll say plus the right hand side of equation one which is a exponential x plus b cos x okay so let's open this bracket when we open this bracket we're going to have d squared y all over dx squared plus y equal to a exponential x minus b cos x plus a exponential x plus b cos x so look at it very well we have minus b cos x and plus b cos x so minus b cos x plus b cos x is equal to zero and then again we have a exponential x plus e exponential x 
add this together is going to give us 2 a exponential x when we add this together it's going to give us 2 a exponential x so we have d squared y all over d s squared plus y is equal to 2 a exponential x let's call this equation 5 hold it we call this what equation 5 now let's go again we look at equation 4 and equation 2 what are we going to do we're going to add equation 4 and equation 2 together okay now let's do it the same way we did this one equation 4 we have the cube y all over ds cube now plus the left hand side of equation 2 which is dy dx is equal to the right hand side of equation 4 we have a exponential x plus b sine x plus now the right hand side of equation 2 we have a exponential x minus b sine x let's also open the bracket when we open the bracket we're going to have the cube y all over ds cube plus dy dx equal to a exponential x plus b sine x plus a exponential x minus b sine x so here again we say b sine x minus b sine x it's going to give us zero and when we say a exponential x plus a exponential x we're going to give us two a exponential x all right so here we have the cube y all over ds cube plus dy dx is equal to 2a exponential x let's call this equation 6 okay now what we are going to do is this you know we have formed two new equation equation 5 and equation 6 let's compare it together equation 5 we have the squared y all over ds squared plus y equal to 2a exponential x and then equation 6 we have the cube y all over ds cube plus dy dx is equal to 2a exponential x now let's say comparing these two equations now do you see this right good now you know we said that this the squared y all over ds squared plus y is equal to the same thing and then we say that the cube y all over ds cube plus dy dx is equal to the same thing 2a exponential x that is to say that these two equations they are the same hello they are what they are the same now comparing these together since they are the same we are going to say that the cube y all over ds cube plus dy dx is the same as the squared y all over ds squared plus y hello we compared equation 5 and equation 6 together okay or we can simply say that we substitute equation 5 in equation 6 hello we substitute equation 5 in equation 6 you get it right that is how we arrive at the cube y all over ds cube plus the y dx is equal to the square y all over ds squared plus y now let's take all the terms in our right hand side to the left hand side so if you do so we're going to have the cube y all over ds cube plus the y dx minus the squared y all over ds squared minus y equal to zero let's arrange this very well when we arrange it very well we're going to have the cube y all over ds cube minus the square y all over ds squared plus dy dx minus y equal to zero all right yes this is the differential equation of the function y is equal to e exponential x plus b cos x all right yes thank you very much for watching please if you are new to our youtube channel please subscribe like and share our video stay blessed